Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I have another installment of This Week in EDM for the week of June 7th to June 13th of 2021. The way this is going to work is I'm going over the songs that came out this week in EDM that I thought were at least notable or stuff that were on my radar. And uh, they're going to be split into four categories. There is songs that I don't bother, the worst of the worst, then there's neutral, a good listen, and standouts. So that's how it works. Those are the four categories, and we're going to go in ascending order. And so the last track, uh, uh, the first track I talk about is the worst song of the week, and the last track I talk about is the best song of the week, and it's all ranked in order as well. So let's jump into it. We're going to start off with Sweet Dreams by Alan Walker and Iman Beck. So this is a two-minute cover of Sweet Dreams Are Made of This uh, by two fairly unloved EDM artists. If you love EDM, you don't really listen to or really like Alan Walker or Iman Beck that much. They're pretty just like pop commercial friendly and their stuff isn't great, I tend to find, especially community sentiment. Uh, but I think this track is just unnecessary and it just be it's really a reason that just because something should or could exist doesn't mean it should exist. This is a song that... I don't think it's noteworthy at all, and I, I wouldn't bother with. Up next is Shockwave by Marshmallow. This is the uh, title track of his uh, new album, Shockwave, which I will hopefully go over sometime personally. Uh, but uh, I understand that Marshmallow gets a lot of hate, and I don't really like a lot of the songs in the LP, but this track in particular isn't all that bad. It's really not great, but it's far from literal garbage. Um, but damn, those vocals are super annoying, so it's still in the don't bother category. Uh, up next is You're the One for Me by Troy Boy and Destructo. Uh, yeah, this one did not hit well for me. Uh, they tried to go for this kind of old school sound on the new shit kind of idea, uh, and it felt really awkward and bland. The stalker-like lyrical performance just gives a creepy undertone to the whole thing, and uh, the production on it just felt a little uninspired. So that was it for Don't Bother. The uh, first song in the neutral category is Too Much To Ask by Don Diablo featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, for a fairly star-studded duo here, I thought this track uh, wasn't that bad. Uh, I know not a lot of people like Don Diablo, but I've never really had an issue with him, and I think this tune in particular is pretty much just okay. Uh, nothing egregiously bad or great. Up next is Poison by Kaizo and Paris Shadows. Uh, the song really felt like it was the middle of the road for me. I uh, didn't feel like a lot was really happening. There weren't really these big highs or low lows. Um, the moments just felt like they weren't really there, and the song just felt really linear to me. So that was Poison. Up next, uh, Napoleona, I think is how you pronounce it, by Dioro, uh, Elvis Crespo, and I Am Chino. Uh, it's a Spanish-spoken jungle trap track that isn't really a song for me. It's bright and fun, especially for uh, Latin dancing, but otherwise I don't think there's really a whole ton going on with it, and it feels like a kind of uh, a bad cut off of the Jack U album, the infamous Jack U album. Up next, Hardwired by Ramesses B. Uh, this is one of the most driven tracks I think I've heard this year, uh, without a doubt. The tempo is fast, constant, and never lets up. I personally wasn't a huge fan of the production and, I would say, boring vocals, uh, but it's a guilty pleasure kind of track, I think, that was it for the week. Up next uh, is Trip 333 by Leotrix. Uh, you know, I've always been fairly critical of Leotrix in the past, and I've not really enjoyed any of his tracks for the most part, uh, but this thing isn't half bad. Uh, he's kept his uh, kind of screeching sound design, but offered a more melodic take on that this time. Uh, I definitely didn't hate this, but I don't find myself, or I wouldn't find myself going back to visit it very often or at all. Up next, Moon Dance by Sack Squatch and Half an Orange. Uh, I've thought that Sack Squatch and Half an Orange have been really uh, like cheesy and a little cringe as of late. Uh, but you know what? I, I actually sort of like this one. Uh, it wasn't incredible, but definitely not bad. It was an okay deep house track with a saxophone driven lead line, I would say, but uh, not, not half bad. Uh, up next is Not Again by OK. When I first heard OK, I thought the style was super interesting, fresh, and fun, but after hearing that same kind of formulaic track for almost, I think, four years now, I'm just not into it that much, and so that's kind of, I felt like that's OK style is just being rinsed and repeated for me, and so it's just neutral for me. Up next is Golden Youth by Tails. 
Uh, I think I expected something more from this track. Uh, it didn't feel like I really got what I wanted. Uh, it's a trap track with undertones of Deep House, which is a f familiar style we've seen from Tales in the past, but something just felt more lacking about this track. Uh, it wasn't really as exciting as I was used to feeling on a Tales track. Up next is Rapido by Debo and Good Times Ahead. This is a fairly minimalistic track with not a lot going on between the drops, and the trap drops are not crazy, but definitely interesting enough that I'm engaged, especially with that major tonal shift on the last section of the last drop. So I didn't think it was that bad. And in terms of Good Times Ahead, uh, recently, this is probably one of their better songs, I think, for me. In the year, let's say. Up next is Together by Drove and Dylan Francis. Uh, it looks like we're getting another EP from Drove based off of the, we're getting three songs in a row, three weeks in a row now. Uh, but this is another Drove and Dylan Francis track uh, where I don't really hear Dylan Francis at all. I don't know where his production elements are or, or anywhere throughout this track. Uh, it just feels like he came to garner more attention because his name is on it. Uh, the track is a good Deep House cut, but nothing super exciting. Up next is Slow by Kashmir and Mahmet, uh, Mahmet Orin, Orphan, uh, featuring Kara, or Kara. I butchered all that, I'm sure, I'm so sorry. Uh, so I reluctantly admit that I have not fully listened through Harmonica Andromeda yet, uh, but this deluxe version came out, or this deluxe track of the deluxe album, so I thought I would give it a listen, and uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was something really extraordinary, and I thought it was a kind of solid t chill out track, uh, with good tonality to it, but it wasn't didn't blow me away. Up next is Light It Up by Mazer and St. Agnes. Uh, this track is an energetic drum and bass track with some intense sound design and vocals. For the most part, I didn't really like the direction it took. Uh, it had this kind of rocking guitar solo at the end, but the track just felt a little linear to me and was probably my least favorite of the EP, actually. Up next is Happy Now by Arlo. Uh, Arlo is a relatively, uh, is more poppy than I would normally get with my uh, EDM, especially with uh, Monster Cat. Uh, but with that notion in mind, I thought the song was just okay. I thought it was good to okay. Uh, it felt like it was a very radio friendly song with not a ton of substance or real original motifs to the track. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot more summer tracks like this start to emerge soon, especially on Monster Cat after the anniversary, at least. Now we're moving into the good listens category, and we're starting it off with High On You by Matroda. Uh, this track comes in hard and leaves just as quick. It's a solid future house track with an old school sounding vocal performance to it. The production is solid and well mixed. I just wish it had some more sustenance to it and just was more fleshed out a little bit, but I did enjoy it. Up next, uh, Everything All at Once by Hex Cougar, Pauline Her, and So Sus featuring Seijo. The EP of this quadruple collab is out, and I've only listened to this song and East Bridge so far at the time of this recording, uh, and I quite enjoyed what I heard. Uh, this track in particular takes a more uh, drum and bass approach with their mysterious atmosphere, and I did enjoy it. Up next is Make You Cry by AU5 and Run. Uh, AU5 will forever be a dubstep master to me, but I think this is one of his lesser inspired tracks. It's definitely not bad, but it's not the grand journey I'm used to getting from an AU5 dubstep song. Up next, I Think About uh, by Blonde Maze and Adam. Uh, this was a very good jamming track with a calming atmosphere. It's uh, serene and beautiful and serves as a solid, uplifting song. Uh, I just, yeah, I liked it. I kind of like the more calmer tracks like this sometimes, and this was definitely one of them. Up next is Catch Me by Zan Griffin and Sound Remedy featuring Paige Cabell. Sound Remedy and Zan Griffin team up for a very atmospheric electronica track here. Uh, it has little hints of being a mellow dub track, but remains uh, kind of fairly level and doesn't go quite as intense uh, or up and down the whole time. I uh, ended up really enjoying the slow pace and nature of this track. Up next is Horizon by Slippy and Blosso uh, and Galena, or I think that's how you'd say it, Galena. Uh, I seriously really enjoy Slippy's trap style and sound design. This track in particular has uh, is more of a hybrid between the trap and future based genres, uh, and I, I really did enjoy that. I think his sound design is one of the best in the trap game right now. The song, no exception. Up next is Sleepless by Pixel Terror, Chime, and Temanite. 
the triple collab here is definitely a success. Uh, I preferred the first drop of uh, the song rather than the second by a pretty fair margin. And while it wasn't one of my favorite Pixel Terror tracks to date, I still think it's quite good and the elements that Chime and Tem uh, Temonite bring to the track I think are great. Three left, we've got uh, the bronze track of the week, the third place, uh, is Silent Light by Faint. Uh, this song is uh, a very smooth, easy to listen to, great drum and bass track, and those vocal chops littered throughout uh, actually remind me a lot of Porter Robinson, uh, and in my opinion, this is actually Faint's best track of 2021, and for some time, I think. Uh, up next is uh, the runner-up is Brawl by Pilot and Mick Rocklin. Uh, this song has no right to be, I think, as good as it actually was. This is just pure synthwave with a rock twist to it, and I love it. I think this is one of Pilot's best songs to date. The, tra the track is epic, vibey, and I just love the tonality to it all. And finally, the track that I thought was the best in EDM this week was Supersonic, or My Existence, by Skrillex, Noisia, Josh Pan, and Dylan Brady. Uh, the supposed third single, I think, from the upcoming Skrillex LP, Supersonic is a really quick track that offers a lot in, smuch, in such a small time frame. It's a gritty trap track with a destructive final drop, and I think this is one of his best songs, I think this is his best song of the three songs he's released so far in 2021. So that's been it for this week in EDM. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of these tracks. Did I miss any big tracks this week that came out? Let me know what you're listening to in the comment section below. And I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.